Hello it's Hera Van Ricky here, are you tired of dying all over again in Escape from Tarkov, not knowing where you got shot? Getting clapped by no lives? Don't worry so have I. I am you, you are me and I am here to help. Here are some life hacks for Ground Zero. These will improve your chances radically on your way to escape. I spawn as a scavenger and the plan is to go hoard some loot as per usual. I stumble on these two fellas that were checking what was all that shooting about. Little did I know that these were Timmy's. To me, the thing that is worse than death is betrayal. Malcolm X. Here we learn an important lesson. In the early wipe when the Timmies have arrived, trust no one. Another beautiful, sunny and crispy winter day in Ground Zero. Fellow scavenger wiggling to me so I knowledge that he is not a PMC. This is something you should also do if you are not sure if it's a PMC or a scavenger. If you shoot a scavenger as a scavenger you will get minus reputation to fence. You are not in day Z where you shoot everything that moves. Unless you are a Timmy. There is a room at the end of this hallway that you don't want to go in, unless you want to level up your vitality. There is such thing as a smart bomb, bombs are smart these days, you know. Adolfo Perez Esquivel We spawned in with my pal with a plan. We are going camp the living shit out of the front yard of the Terra Group. I'm equipped with a Remington Model 707.62 by 51 bolt action sniper rifle. While you go up to the building there is a razor wire all around the stairway. It's like back in the 1916 in Verdun trenches. So be careful when you climb your way up. This is the room where you want to start camping. You have a perfect view to the front yard of the Terra Group building. My pal is staying behind and holding the stairs with Mosin 7.62x54 our bolt action rifle. This is a good strategy so you don't get ambushed while you are glued to your rifle scope. Our first victim is about to meet his maker. Couple of seconds goes by and our second victim has arrived. As you can see, I was having a bit of problem with the huge scope. But it won't stop me. One to the back. One to the leg. One to the neck and he drops dead. Remember to always check your surroundings and don't focus on the same spot. There might be a Timmy lurking around. There is a AGS 3030 by 29 mm automatic grenade launcher in the Capitol Insight building. If you are not careful, you will go to the moon and back. Luckily this time I got the shot before he started to blast us to the moon. I wanted to see if there was anyone going on the road. It would be a perfect opportunity to shoot with the NSV Udios 12.7x108 heavy machine gun. I just missed a team of two crossing the road. Gladly I still had my old faithful Remington Model 700. I shot him twice in the center mass like they taught us in the army back in 2015. He dropped dead. He still had a friend and he didn't want to surrender so easily. I shot him once to the right side of his body while he was running to cover but that didn't do much. That tough son of a bitch ran to lick his wounds behind the car.
After a moment I heard him running in downstairs towards the stairway where my pal was already waiting for him. He got him with a single bullet while using the Mosin. What a great success it has been so far. I decided to go back to the room to check in case there was still people running around like the neighbor's cat. Indeed there was. But this time it was just a scavenger. I went to take a better angle and it was time to go get all that juicy loot that was laying all over the yard. I jumped over the razor wire of Verdun and made my way to my pal that was hands full with that juicy loot. At first I wanted to go check the guy that I shot in front of the Terra Group building. Nothing too special on him but a nice sidearm the AKS-74 UB with the Model 700. I heard a scavenger shouting behind me and I went to see where it was. Together with my pal we easily took him out. He was shooting the scavenger from the right side of the building. At this point we decided that it was good moment to extract from the Nakatani basement. Our backpacks were full of stuff and there was a nice amount of XP coming after the PMC kills. The joy of living, its beauty, is all bound up in the fact that life can surprise you. Frank Herbert It is always important to remember that you should never go on the main road. Otherwise you are going to end up like the Soviets in the Battle of Retin Road, back in Finland January 1940. Forts, cannons and foreign aid will not help unless every man himself knows that he is the guard of his country. Carl Gustav Emil Mannerheim Oh, you made it to the end. I hope you learned some tricks and 160 IQ tactics. Until next time, yours, Ra Van Ricky. P.S., if you want me to make more this kind of content, consider subscribing the channel.